Go, man. Sovereign grace and beyond. Yeah. Heidelberg Catechism to my man Kevin D. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a mission like a couple spies And that guys is the reason why I catechize The good news we almost forgot I recognize Heidelberg rediscovering the gospel prize It's not scripture but the truth in it will mention he Introduction how to see the 16th century Written in a time when your mind was the referee Document is back in the pop and the shouts of Kevin D Better than you think, not as bad as you remember Purpose driven truth from Frederick D. Elector He would initiate the 129 questions and illustrate truths like Christ propitiates All in the document whose purpose was to teach children A guy for preachers and confessions in the church building And this is all fact, the Heidelberg cat Has been around but now it seems like it's really We believe in the cross, believe in his life We believe in his death, believe he's the Christ We believe that he rose from the grave, yes it is him And we read the Heidelberg Catechism We believe in the afterlife And we believe yeah. he's after Christ So we stand our ground Cause the truth's been around from the word to the Heidelberg. It's the year of the Heidelberg resulting in renewed passion. And we can see it in my lives, lights, camera, action. Let's take a gander and address a few questions from the Heidelberg document. They look at the answers. But before that, make sure that you know how it's broken down in the queue when they format a few sections. Suggestions how to read this, not to sound promotional. Kevin put it in his book to make it a devotional. Each question, each answer has a bit of comments. So the application of it, not some involuntary mystery, the history. Screams through, rings true. I will leave that up to God, cause that's between you to believe. But you gotta read and meditate on all the truths that the Heidelberg will illustrate. What's that? The catechism, homie, where you been? The good news we almost forgot. Let's get it in. We believe in the cross, believe in his life, we believe in his death, believe he's the Christ, we believe that he rose from the grave. Yes, it is him. And we read the Heidelberg catechism. We believe in the afterlife, and we believe the his life. After Christ, so we stand our ground. Cause the truth's been around. From the word to the Heidelberg, from the word to the Heidelberg, we see that what's the comfort of life should come first. And the death that I with body and soul, but belong to the Savior. Commentary from me, man. Tell it to your neighbor. Moving on, how many things are necessary for thee? Enjoying this comfort to live and die happily. Free my sins, misery, deliverance from sin, and gratitude from God is how the answer ends. Let's stretch it out to Lord's Day 23, granddaddy of them all. Question 5960. What good does it to do to believe in all this and Christ I am right and to the promise paraphrased anyways I'm kind of living it I just tried to say a couple things my man Kevin did on a Heidelberg go and get you one and by the way CJ homie this is fun believe in the cross believe in his life we believe in his death we believe he's the Christ we believe that he goes from the grave and it is him and we read the Heidelberg catechism we believe in the afterlife and we believe in the after Christ, so we stand our ground. Cause the truth's been around from the word to the Heidelberg. Sovereign grace, thank you. From the word to the Heidelberg.